So I'm sitting in the shop and I begin to hear this chatter about these parts that are no good and that they're having quite a few problems with on the assembly side. And I'm hearing, you know, that there there's a whole bunch of parts scrapped and they can't use them and the problem looks pretty big. And so I go over to inquire what's going on. I'm like, hey, what's going on? Um, I hear you guys are having some problems with some parts and they're like, yeah, these adapter fittings that we have machined, they're almost all no good. And I looked at the part and immediately my heart just sank, my stomach knotted up, and I just knew that was my part, right? I first articled that part on night shift, and I immediately, I begin to inquire a little bit more, we started looking into the problem, and it turns out that there was, there was a miss, there was a miss on my end. I had taken the part in on night shift, and I had first articled the part, checked every feature, everything came out good, but the problem was when I made the in-process inspection form, I made a call, right? I put the critical features on there. Well, there was one feature that had a runout call out from uh, one diameter that was machined on op one and another feature that was machined on op two, and it was a runout. Well, the way that the job was set up is that that feature that was machined on op one was part of the work holding on op two, so it should have controlled for it. Well, well, it turns out that it didn't, right? We looked into it a little bit and somewhere in the manufacturing process, that fixturing had got damaged. And so what I thought would be basically sort of a, a no brainer, I didn't want to slow up the manufacturing process, turned out to be a very large problem. In fact, I found, I think I heard something around like something like $53,000 in lost parts. And these were small parts, so it was a big problem. Some of them on a batch inspection had managed to get through to assembly and that's where the problem originally popped up they weren't working right they weren't working as they were supposed to and further investigation just found this huge problem probably one of the bigger or if not biggest uh, mistakes in my manufacturing career and I remember taking from that you know kind of really kind of a couple lessons one from an inspector standpoint and one from a machinist standpoint you know as an inspector I kind of walked away remembering that you kind of always have to you always have to assume the worst right I mean we can make these calls and you know assume that something is going to run well. Again, I didn't want to slow down the manufacturing process, but as an inspector, we have to assume that these things are going to go wrong, right? And be able to step in from time to time and check things that although maybe statistically, maybe might not go wrong, you can save yourself a lot of headache and heartbreak in this case by making sure you check on those things occasionally. And, you know, being from a machinist background myself too, I remember being told this and, you know, I like to tell all machinists that I kind of meet too, that even though you have an in-process inspection form that has, you know, a set of critical features on it, you are nonetheless still responsible for that part. And sort of, you know, going back to that inspection example, you should assume the worst that just because something is supposed to hold from part to part, just because it is supposed to be controlled does not mean that it actually is. And sometimes things go wrong and we have to be at the top of our game, whether that's from an inspection standpoint or a machinist standpoint. We have to know what we're doing, we have to know the features we're controlling, and we have to you know, assume or at least consider the fact that things might go wrong because like in this case, things went very wrong and it was something that I had to own, I had to accept, and I definitely learned a lot from it. But so again, like I say, we gotta watch out. Even those small things that we think are insignificant can very well turn out to be very big things.